going on? This is not recording. Is it recording? Oh, yeah, it is recording. Okay. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It is Constantine, aka Smart Guy Commentaries, and this is uh, another video. Um, I'm thinking of making uploads only every Sunday, and maybe if I gain more subscribers, do it uh, when sun Sundays and Thursdays, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah. So, uh, I got a recommendation on my channel that said, do a theory, do the theories on the end of the world. And, um, so... I, there's nothing really for me to interpret about end of the world theories. I mean, so I'm just going to go to two websites. I'll post a link in the description of the video. And I'm just going to read down the most interesting ones that I found uh, of the end of the world theories. And then 10 reasons as to why the world cannot and will not end in 2012. Seeing as this year is 2012 and there's been lots of speculation that we are going to die. So uh, as you can see, this is some COD 4 gameplay with the sniper rifle. It's not too good, but I mean, it's my first time ever really playing. I mean, you can see how, how low level I am. Anyway, continuing. So let's start off here. You got, um, one of them that I found interesting was mass suicide. <laughs> so um, some people apparently think that uh, we're going to all kill ourselves at once. And it's it's pretty inconceivable. Um, just out of off the top of my head, I know there have been a couple of mass suicides, uh, like religious sects and leaders uh, convinced all their followers to commit suicide, which is kind of um, lame. Uh, another one is the expansion of the sun, and everyone thinks that the sun is going to uh, eventually run out of hydrogen as fuel, and it's just going to start expanding. It's going to take up um, Mars and um, get closer to the earth eventually and then we're just gonna melt and, and die because it's gonna get so hot and um, another theory is the Andromeda Galaxy which I'm sure many of you have heard the Andromeda Galaxy is the nearest galaxy to us and in approximately two billion years it says here the Andromeda Galaxy will nearly collide with our own galaxy the Milky Way and but uh, yeah it's gonna cause an world-ending cataclysm or according to others nothing at all Fortunately, this will be in two billion years, so so we can all survive that just fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing else up here. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. A rogue black hole. Okay. So in this theory, a black hole, an incredibly dense heart of a dead star, enters our solar system. At first, it would be really. Uh, uh, at first, it would really stir up the asteroid belt. So the Earth would be destroyed by a meteor or asteroid long before being swallowed by the black hole. Um, so I'm saying, I'm guessing that pretty much if we were to get missed by all of the hundreds of meteors that would come at us, about, uh, there's a very low percentage chance of that considering all the meteors and asteroids in the belt, um, we would die by getting sucked into the black hole. <laughs> Alien invasion. Okay, let's read this one. There are billions of stars in the universe, and recent science has shown that many of these planets orbit them. This could mean that there are trillions, maybe zillions, of planets out there. It is also almost statistically impossible that none of these support intelligent life. We know of at least one, however, us. Uh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay, the universal switch off. Okay, um, I already know about this one, so I'll just summarize it for you. Pretty much, um, the Big Bang uh, was how the many people believe the Earth was created, and the universe was created, but people believe that if the Big Bang can just create life out of nothing, just create planets just like that, then it could just, um, there's an alternate theory that instead of a Big Bang that creates matter, there would be a different one that just destroys it. Well, not creates matter, because matter can't be created, but, like, you know what I'm saying. Um, let's see how much time I have left on the video. Okay, I have hardly any time left, so mass genetic mutation is another one where everyone will become mutated and infected and, and die, <laughs> which is not good at all. And let's see here, uh, super volcano, everyone knows that theory, something like um, Mount St. Helens kind of, except a lot bigger and just blow up and the cloud would cover the whole earth and we'd all die eventually, it's just like, whatever. Total Ice Age, everyone thinks that, well, lots, lots of people think that, um, There'd be so much uh, a deep freeze, which is which is actually impossible, and the world would the world would just end. Uh, overpopulation. Um, there's a theory called ah uh, shit. I forget what it's called, but there's a term in biology for like the maximum number amount of life uh, an area can support, an ecosystem can support, 
and once it passes over that limit, the numbers just drop down dramatically because there's not enough food left, and then it builds up once there's hardly anyone left, but that wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, and nuclear war is the, the first most highly suggested theory for the end of the world, which is human element ends the world. What a surprise. Okay. Okay, now let's go on to some theories as to why the world will not end. Um, ten... Okay. Number nine. The Earth's magnetic field will reverse, and um, I already know about this one. Actually, I already know about a lot of these. Um, pretty much, the Earth's magnetic field has already been reversed, like about, I think it was 600,000 years ago. Oh, oh 800,000 years ago, it says here. Um, so that means that... Uh, that means it's not possible for us to die because the Earth's magnetic pole flipped uh, uh, previously in the history, and nobody nobody was affected by it. No one died. Another one is that let's see, the hmm, a black hole in the center of the galaxy will affect us. The Milky Way has no black holes. Oh wait, no. The Milky Way's black hole has no interference on the galactic disk. Whatever the whatever the fuck that means. An asteroid will smash into the Earth. A threatening near-Earth asteroid has gotten the most press in 900 foot wide, is 900 foot wide Apophis, but its chances of collision of the Earth have downgraded to 1 in 250,000. Okay, so let's continue on reading these theories. Um, what the hell is happening? Okay, yeah, so 1 in 250,000 is the chance of getting hit by that meteor, which is only 900,000, 900 feet wide, and not a meteor, sorry, it's an asteroid. And, uh, Let's see. A cloud of negative energy engulfs the solar system. Wow, a dark cloud with a bad attitude. That sounds suspiciously like a Star Trek episode. Dark energy is all around us already, but is not packaged into clouds. So, same thing goes for dark matter. Uh, let's see. The rogue planet Nibiru will swing by the Earth. There isn't such a planet anymore than the planet Naboo from the Star Wars theory. Wait. There isn't such a planet anymore then the planet Naboo from Star Wars Trilogy is real. Purported internet pictures of the interloper are photographic lens flares or hoaxes, so don't believe every dot you see in the photographed sky. Um, yes, that's about it, guys. Uh, leave a comment on future theories or vote on them on my channel. I'm thinking of doing a giveaway for 100 subscribers to my United States subscribers. I'm sorry if you guys are foreign, but to any United States subscribers, once I reach 100, I will do a giveaway on my PlayStation Network card or Microsoft Points card. As always, guys, have a great day. Um, I will talk to you later.